Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Sofax here and I'm back from Bosnia, but unfortunately, so is he. Now you must be wondering what this big spider looking metal thing is, but why you guessed it, you're so smart. So its name is the Scorpion Tank and it's the main focus of the new siege mode that was added in the last patch. It's a very formidable machine if you're out in the open, but we'll talk about it later. Hard suits. Hard suits are every fucking where on this map. I got killed like seven times with a hard suit on this map in this round. It is just amazing how much people love hard suits on this map. I think it's because people know that it's a very valuable thing to have a hard suit in your arsenal when you're playing a siege game. And why you ask yourself again? Well, I'll explain you what a siege mode is. First things first. So there are two sides in this game mode two different teams and it's not like in the other game modes where you're just doing the same thing just approaching from the other direction but here depending on what side you are you have two tasks while defending you need to try to stop the tank from reaching his destination and while attacking aka escorting the tank you need to kill opponents and lower the gates that are stopping the tank from advancing to his destination and if it reaches the destination if you're defending you lose the round and if you're escorting you win the round it's all pretty simple, right? Yeah, but there are a few things that you want to know before playing a round of Siege with your friends and dying repeatedly off the hands of the brutal Scorpion Tank. Like I said before, the Scorpion Tank is a very formidable weapon when you're standing out in the open. So, first thing, never stand out in the open. Second thing, never get in the Scorpion's way. Scorpion always walks on the same path. You see that yellow line on the floor? Yeah. That's where the scorpion goes. That is the path the scorpion follows to get to your base, aka the destination point. If you're still wondering what you're up against to, just picture a bear standing on a turtle, rotating around itself. That's similar to the scorpion tank we have here. It has only one weapon and it's that massive machine gun that it has up on its turret. And it's very similar to the one that you have on the hard suit, but it fires a lot faster and holds 200 rounds. Oh, I forgot to mention that it can rotate 360 degrees around itself, so wherever you're standing and you're out in the open, it can and will shoot you. But enough about what a tank does, how can you destroy it? It's simple, you just shoot at it. Of course, using a rocket launcher is a lot more effective, and it has a weak spot up on its turrets on the back of it. Well, it's technically not on the back of it because the turret can spin around, but you get what I mean. Unlike in the hard suit, where the driver has two metal plates blocking his field of vision, the Scorpion driver has no similar problems and can see you very well when you think you can sneak by him. So, you guys be careful when you're crossing the road, or you might get yourself shot, or even worse, he might actually step on you. Which is not pleasant at all, don't you think? Now that you have some really basic info about the game mode, I suggest you go on and play it with your friends, because I think it's really the best game mode that they have produced so far. It doesn't matter what side you're playing on, if you're defending the tank you will have a great time repelling the attackers and if you're attacking, okay you won't have such a great time attacking because it's very hard to go against the tank, but still, it is very fun to play this game mode. And now, I can tell you about my time in Bosnia. In those 7 days I had really really good time in Bosnia, we drank a lot of beer, we had a barbecue, we drank a lot of rakia, which is a type of a scotch, it's made out of plums and it has about 40% of alcohol in it, which is a lot for beverage. We drank a lot of it, I got drunk like an ass, but it was it was good times, really good times. And at the same time, I'm very happy that I'm back in Croatia because I can start making videos again, and a friend of mine agreed to help me film a video that I had in mind for like a few months now, and so we should start filming that video in a few days, I think. So I think it'll take me a week to edit it because it's a big idea, it's like the biggest editing process that I will do when I start doing it, that is. And just so you know, don't expect a lot of Let's Plays video because even though I love doing it, like I said in my previous videos, I'm getting tired of it and I think it's not quality enough content to get on my channel. You very well may think that I'm full of shit for saying that Let's Plays are bad, but that's just my opinion and it's I have total right not to record let's plays and really I have total right not to upload let's plays on my channel but let's be honest not a lot of people are watching me on YouTube and not a lot of people will care that I decrease the amount of let's play on my channel what I'm trying to do with this new video regime is actually trying to get myself kind of famous on YouTube I really enjoy making videos and I really enjoy helping people do what they want to do which is play games so I think if I put quality content on YouTube, really quality content, more people will be watching me regardless of if I have a big audience before I started putting quality content. 
but that's just how things should work. It's there is no guarantee that it will work that way, and I don't think that I will be quote unquote famous in the next like a year or two because uh, I'm a Croatian YouTuber. I'm a very small YouTuber, and I don't have anyone backing me up. I don't want to do dirty things to get famous, like send people messages about my video, spam it on channels, on in comments and things like that. I really don't want to do that. I want to get quote unquote famous the awesome way doing it by myself for myself and at the same time kind of for you guys i hope you support this idea of mine because i really want to start putting quality content up and okay not really want i will put quality content up that is a promise you can mark my words this will be uploaded on youtube for everyone to hear so you have my promise you just keep an eye on my channel and guys until next time keep it steady and carry on